In last episode, we finally done with the tutorial stuff with this game. And now we're free to play through any mini game or whatever that we choose. So let's see what we can look at the costume haul. We got this night costume. I don't like that, but I like this one, the Beethoven costume. Yeah, I love it. I'm gonna keep it for a plot of DLP. Because it reminds me of Doctor Who, specifically Paul McGann. I know it's supposed to be Beethoven, but it looks a lot like the Doctor too. Got a big curly hair and that fancy looking suit. And yeah, I can see on top of the tree ball, we are done one mission every category, except for the hooker area. And of course, we can't go in there unless we have a Wii Motion Plus connected to my Wii Notes, which, hangry the why I do, so yeah. Uh, you gotta have one of those Wii Motion Plus things, or a Wii Note with the Motion Plus built into it. Now, yeah, I see there, you're probably wondering what the heck this sixth pathway is. It's probably it's some sort of rabbit area, but no, it's basically just a randomizer. So, oh well. Yeah, you see, and you notice on the one away brand, you didn't see any token on there for reasons I will explain last episode. So now do we have finished access to everything in the main game? I now it's gonna go through each category one by one. So we shall we shall we start off at the bouncer area. <laughs> yeah, what? So clearly we've already done the first mini game, but. We now find access to all these side minions here, which this is not where we want them. And yeah, I can't grab that token up there unless I have some partner with me. So yes, clearly this game is meant to play on multiplayer, but clearly I don't have friends with me, so too bad. Doesn't mean I can grab that one. I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but I can somehow pass through those green slime blocks. Okay, sure. So, no matter what, I can jump as high as I can, but I can't reach that token up there without a second player. Which sucks, but what can you do? This game was meant for more player. But I don't have any friends with me to play this game, so... Screw, screw you, game, for not... Considering lonely completionists like me. So I'm still kind of messing around here. <laughs> yeah, see, can't grab it. Unfortunately, there's like no super jump ability in this game, so oh well. Uh, so we have the second mini game in the, in the Bouncer area. And those Pink jelly platforms are bouncy platforms. And you stomp a done, they'll actually give you some sort of super jump. Which is nice. Okay, uh, so here we have this thing. And oh, apparently it's a side thing we can do. See how many times you can jump on the trampoline before you end up falling. <laughs> you can stop on it for extra points, clearly. We'll go over those layers, like I said. <laughs> Hollywood, Bollywood, okay. And okay, here's another side thing. Grab as many butterflies as you can before one and disappears. <laughs> <sighs> Again, exploring here. And here we have Basically a simple Siren Says mini game here. We've seen this type of mini game before. We've seen this back in the first game. Uh, we've seen this in Where's Go Home, yeah? So yeah, this returns. And finally, Manning the Mammoth is there as well. Like, I know that's not him, but... Whatever. Uh, just gonna just grabbing the rest these time tokens that are scattered about everywhere. Go. 
And we can also swim down here to the very bottom. Getting loads of achievements. <laughs> you know I'm not planning to get them all for obvious reasons. God. Okay, I think that's every time token that I can collect in the Batsu area for now. Again, I'm not 100% playing this game because I don't have three other Wii notes or accessibility to the online server. So let's just go on to the second mini game in the Batsu area, Quest to Fire for, for Fire. And basically just be the last survivor. So basically it's just a simple game of elimination. Okay, so back in the Stone Age, because it would be a time traveling game without be going to the Stone Age, of course. Yeah. Sure. And that caused the extinction of the mass mass. <laughs> No. Ah, oh, the discovery of fire. Reminds me of sp that BC SpongeBob episode. But it's simple, just be the last one surviving. You got a limited amount of hits you can take from the fire. So basically, be the last one standing. Stay away from the fire as possible. The game always put in the direction where you want to go. And you always want to grab those little white rabbit. Finnies to get more hit points, let's say. So, things like those. So, yeah. Pretty simple. So, basically, just avoid the fires and let the opponents kill themselves, basically. So, yeah. And just hope the physics don't screw you over. You know, the bouncy physics. And you can saw determine where the fire go by being near an arrow, but we pwn can, so now we're gonna go down. I'm gonna assume the red we rabbit red rabbit, but yep. The red rabbit is dead and God get down, here we go. No 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 go, go on go on. oh 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 Whew, that was close Thankfully, we're now in this maze like area. Just gonna grab this. Yes, yeah, so I'm clearly in the lead with seven hit points. And we're still only having two. Okay. Unfortunately, the other one's got three now. Okay, let's head up now. Nope. Don't touch the fire blocks, of course, always they'll bounce, knock you back into the fire. So I got hit unfortunately, but no worries. No, no, no! Got, got hit by the fire again, so now I'm down six hits. Well, the green rabbit's dead. So now we just gotta. No, no, no! And there you go, the yellow one's dead, and we won. Now here's the first beginning where you force to make a choice. Now, you might think it doesn't really matter which one you choose, but it actually does. Because you pick the wrong one, which I do, I pick the wrong one, which is that one, the orange, yellow one, whatever. It doesn't carry a spinning ink, and see here, it doesn't show it as a weapon token, it only shows you the two. So yeah, I need the one choice. Screw this game. So you're meant to choose the purple one, instead of the other one. Oh well, I'll go back to do that later. But now let's move on to the third Bats Away minigame, Holly Bollywood. Which this one is to break the most bricks. So basically, where has the highest amount score wins? Simple to the point. Hey! 3D! Don't worry, there's no force 3D mode in this game. Like Sly 3. No, I won't start again. Oh. Perverts. 
I wouldn't be surprised. Holy word! Force him! <laughs> I was a clone this that way. No, nope, four. 400 kilometers down below, sure. Let's go to the center of the earth, I guess. So, yeah, just break the most amount of bricks as possible. Can't get any simpler than that. Just break as many bricks as you can. Always aim for the silver and gold bricks, of course. Unless they're there in, at the top of the screen, of course. In which case, don't even bother. <laughs> What's that? Ah, yeah, you kind of want to be ahead of the pack, but you want to get most points. And yeah, there are also minus five bricks, which take away five points away from your score. So don't go for those, unless there's like a gold one under it, in which case you'll equal out to five points. If there's a five brick un under a minus five brick, then now just you average yourself out to nothing, so it's not really worth it. So far, it's about between me and the red one, so gotta gotta um, step it up. Yeah. Nope. I want that. Damn it. Hard knock rabbit. Whatever that means. Hey, yay! We reached the center of the earth. I think. No. That's only not the core, it's too broken up. Well, anyway, inside the core, I don't know. Either way, we hit the sun of the earth, and now we're coming at the other end. Because everything's upside down. You know, the ones look like L's, the 5 looks like an S, and the 10s look like 0L. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna go for these points, because why not? Fortunately, the screen style is scrolled. Bit up, so I'm gonna have to move back down. Okay, that's my supply break, but there are three ten bricks below it, so it's worth it. Give me the points, give me the juicy points. Mm, simply delicious. Um, no, I'm gonna put any dead memes because I'm guys, this video's gonna be posted whole year in advance, so any mean being mean references I think will be make this instantly outdated, so I'm not gonna bother. Okay, we need at the end. And yeah, what's a prize? I won. Yeah, to change history, break one last work. Just break the purple one, basically. Because you want to be Bollywood, not Hollywood. Because, you know, you want to score history. And yeah, see that golden wear token? That means I actually picked the white choice and beat the game properly. So there you go. We're going to need down for all the minigames here. So let's do on to number four. Assemble bling bling line. And simply, it's just assemble blocks of the same color. Be on the orange tier of the pro team. Uh, I don't. I think in this case it doesn't really matter this time. But I'll be on purple because it's my favorite color. <laughs> and I guess the reason why it's there is, you know, in case you want to play on multiplayer. But since it's just me, I don't even know why it's even here. Oh, quite out loud. This game has an inflation fetish. Again, not gonna say what. Yeah, let's get all Splatoon up in this house. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see rabbits in Splatoon, honestly, but maybe not. That's the best. So, um, I've no idea how you win this mini game, but the agenda here is simple. Basically, basically match blocks of the same. I think. Match three or more blocks of the same color that are at least near each other. And basically just keep keep that for as long as possible before it fills up to the top. So basically it's pretty much like it's a simplified Tetris or Puyo Puyo. 
or puzzle league, whatever. It's a simplified puzzle game, let's say. Now, I don't know how you would even beat this game. It's just you simply go on for, for forever. It doesn't, title doesn't matter, I don't know. I see at start here, I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. But as but of course as as typical puzzle game fashion goes, the longer it goes on for, the faster the blocks will fall, so you're gonna have pretty damn good reflexes, I'm thinking. <laughs> Do you wanna last as long as you can in this puzzle mini game? Again, I don't know if it doesn't matter how long it goes or not. It's just, in order to count this game, minigame is being, I don't know, I just... I just do... Oh, he also got these TNT blicks. Um... I don't know what they do. Obviously they explode when... They're me... They're so amount blocks, I guess. I guess seeing when the TNT blocks near two or three blocks of the same color, it will exp explode all the blocks around it. I don't know. There isn't really any defining rules in this mini game. Sorry about that. Anyways, so yeah, I put it. This goes on for quite a while. Also, I think I'm only halfway through this recording session part of the mini game here. Blah blah blah. blah, blah so, I guess I'll figure something else to talk about. Um, I don't know. So, um. So, <laughs> why not? Sorry. I feel like you my time here, so let's play on this channel. I've sort of gained a quiet reputation for being known as the rabbit of Let's Play, let's say. It's I mean do it by doing the first two rabbit games, which were. Honestly, the second game was a pain to do to LP, man, because the costume. I'll kind of cost us in that. And then eventually I did the TV party let's play and the go home LP. Arsenal Wears LPs and was doing you know future LPs. Somehow, I don't know how, but my Rabbits 2 LP somehow became my most popular LP of all t time. I don't know how, but I guess people were really interested in. If that wasn't enough, it then got surpassed by my TV party LP, which honestly I'm glad it to the TV party LP is more probably than my Rabbids 2 one because personally I think Rayman Wing Rabbids 2 is a really dull minigame collection and TV party is way better than that, so I'm really happy that TV party LP is definitely more popular. But yeah, it's kind of all dying actually though as the Rabbid Rabbid L S player now. <laughs> I mean. I don't mind. I mean, I don't really hate the rest so much. I actually find it kind of interesting. I don't honestly find it funny, but I totally find it very interesting. I know people really hate the rabbits because they basically killed off Wayman back in 2006. But honestly, I don't like to think about that. I know it sucks that rabbits basically put Wayman on a high hiatus, but that, that hiatus was only for like half a decade? <laughs> it's not bad as other few game mascots like, oh I don't know, Blinks the Time Sweeper, Tiger, Tasmanian Tiger, Tojin and now I can go on forever. But anyways, now it's finally over, I kind of got overwhelmed and yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. So yeah, there you go. Guess that's my 
my relationship with me and the rabbits franchise. Again, I don't mind it. Now the reason why this is seen, because I think I said something in my rabbits one or, or rabbits two LP that I said I will be doing let's plays of every rabbit game that there is, and I don't know if I'll actually be successful in doing that or not. But here we are on the fifth game of the series. Not being able to complete every Rabbit's game for reasons that to each game, but here we are. Now we're on to. I don't know. More fart jokes. Well, with ice this time and. Dinosaurs! Because there wouldn't be a time traveling game without dinosaurs. Oh god, and we get in the cold. So it's basically the same exact thing as the Stone Age video game, well, where you got it that's for surviving, but instead of running away from fire, well, running away from ice. Yeah, so instead of a forest fire, it's the Ice Age! <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean the, the Doobie franchise has gone on for way too long. They honestly have a soft spot for that franchise, just like with the Rares, actually. <laughs> but anyway, he's yes, this is pretty much the same mini game we saw. The other ones game to see you soft whooping their mini game ideas, recycling. I mean, oh god, urchins, stay away from them. No offense, Spike wants to. Oh, I'm just a reference. Nicky machine, aren't I? Um, so yeah. Again. For me being a weathered, known as a weathered let's player, hasn't really hurt, annoyed me that much, honestly. And, I mean, of course, I know it means that my weathered let's players will be more popular than the other my let's players I'll do, but. I don't really like that bar, I mean, maybe because I'm not really that popular of a YouTuber anyway. I mean, by the time I'm recording this, I got like a thousand and a half subscribers, so I'm not really bothered. But again, I don't really bother me, because again, like I said, I just, I play through, I do let's play some games that I want to do, not what you you want want me to do, unless unless I just suggest that I want you to do it. Oh dear, that's a whole different thing entirely. So. Yeah. Like for example, I think when I did one my, my Sega Racing game that I let's play, someone kept asking me to do a let's a let's play of a I guess a popular fairy or parents game, cause still I do Spongebob games as well. And well, again I would like to do that gear at one point, but first I gotta Buy the game first because I don't own it. And oh god, change history again. Uh, which is the white right choice this time? This one? Honestly, I can't really remember. Okay, that is the white right choice, as hinted by that gold rabbit token in the top left. So, there we go. So, I think I got a story about that was a guy that commented on my. Sega Racing game that want me to do a fair parents game which is for the 6th generation consoles and again I'd love to do it but first I gotta buy the game first because as you know I don't own the game yet and then I gotta play through the game myself and see if it's worth let's play or not but so yeah don't expect that for a while but now we're done with all the mini games in the bounce away in so it's now time for me to do some of the side things in Batsuarian. Well, except for one, simply because I've forgotten about it, but yeah. First of all, we got this trampoline bouncing thing. Basically, keep bouncing on it and stay on it for as long as you can until you eventually fall off. You get a storm minute for extra points too, but be careful as you'll lose more of your control. Again, these are there are achievements that are related to these type of things and as you expect, they are really time-consuming and frustrating to get. I like the 
quote challenge from my odyssey if i compare anything to that oh can i get to a hundred no i want to get to a hundred it's not rounded off okay now we do the butterfly catching minigame first which basically gets many butterflies you can before they disappear pretty simple First of all, it starts out pretty easy, but especially as you go through it, yeah, more start to appear. All I can say is, all I grabbed the first butterfly that appeared first. So, you know, you don't lag behind a bit. And if you have really good control, otherwise you're going to be way off. Right now I'm doing pretty well. Master Hunter, eh? Yeah, I think I'm gonna screw up now. Yep. 33! Not bad, but clearly I could do a lot better. And... There's one more siphon here that I need to do, but... I'm not gonna show off yet, because I just simply forgot about it. It's that Siphon Says Excitable thing. I'll show it off next episode, but for now... We're done with the Bansuarian, for now. Let's head back to the main hall. Getty! Or Gorilla, whatever. And yeah. Basically, we've done all the mini games, but not all of the numbers on the Bounce Rain branch has been filled yet. Exceeding number two is yet to be filled. I did beat the second mini game, you know, the storage one where I had to run away from the fire. But see, all because I simply chose the the one choice, it didn't count as me beating the game, which I hate, I hate it, I hate it. Which means the game pretty much forced me to play through that game again to target so the right choice. So apparently, so apparently it doesn't matter. Way doesn't matter which. Basically, the game doesn't let you choose either way. You had to choose one specific thing, which sucks. But whatever, I'll do that off camera. But, anyways. Next time, let's play Wherever's Traveling Time. Whichever new we are to. The Shooter Rain, I believe? I don't know. But I'll see you later, guys. Bye bye.